Welcome back everyone. This is Thomas Triple T Tai with another new bullish crypto analysis. Before we dig in, first, my voice is not fully back yet, so you might have a hard time hearing me, but the volume is is pretty much maxed. Um if you find value at any time in this video, feel free to smash the like, ring my bell, hit subscribe, or leave a comment in the YouTube section. I would love to hear your thoughts. Let's dig in. We're going to take a look at the uh, Bitcoin and the uh, equities markets around the world. First, Bitcoin uh, and crypto market, it's pretty red. However, um, it had a it had a recent spike, and so it's coming down from that recent spike. So even though this all this redness looked pretty um, daunting, it's actually better than where it was a few days ago. Bitcoin's at thirty nine point six k, five percent down from uh, the uh, spike. Dominance is forty two point six seven. Ethereum is 2.6K, dominance at 17.81. Something of interest here is Luna. Luna is above 100. In fact, it's at 101.41. That's pretty phenomenal for Luna. um, We have a couple other um, green areas here, and those are stable coins. And Leo is positive, and... uh, I don't know what this is, but they're positive. HI or something. Anyways, uh, pretty do- pretty red, but um, it's 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 de- deceiving. The colors deceiving, given that it it just popped. Over in the equities market, similar situation. Uh, equities also popped. This is the U.S. market heat map here. Equities uh, popped uh, yesterday. And so it's, um, you know, it's coming down. And so this, a lot of this red may look, de- can be deceiving. So we'll take a look at the charts and see actual trends over time. Uh, we, Amazon did a stock split 10 to 1, or if you will, t- 1 to 10. Uh, and they're up 6%. So that's really cool to see. Um, technology, we got uh, mostly red here. Communication services red. Um, the uh, consumer cyclical, it's it's a mix, but the uh, big ones are in the red. Um, Tesla's down, negative 2.9. Now we got um, energy continue to be uh, in the green here. That's not a surprise. Basic materials, mostly green. Uh, we got railroads, mostly green. Industrial, um, mostly red, but not too red. Uh, healthcare, uh, it's, it's, it's somewhat green. Um, we got, um, yeah, well, mostly green up here in the middle where, where we have diagnostic and research, etc. They're mostly, uh, they're mostly red. Yeah. Financials, mostly red down here. So, uh, yeah, let's, I, I, let's look at the charts so we can see trends because they, uh, these things can be misleading. All right, here we go. Uh, Bitcoin is at the top of the three columns here. Um, and over here, we have uh, U.S. stock market markets. Uh, over here, we have um, the uh, European markets with um, stocks, 600. And over here, we have uh, Australian and the Asian markets. I added um, this one is uh, Shanghai, Shenzhen, uh, CSI 300. It's basically the top 300 in the uh, um, th- Shanghai in, uh, Stock Exchange Index. So that's down here. That's newly added. I was I didn't want to add this before, but I figure I add it because because um, usually the Hang Seng pretty much gives us a decent indication of what's happening in, in uh, Asia and Southeast Asia. So, but I added just uh, just to trend it over time and see. Let's dive into this area first. We're not going to go over some of these as we'll cover them over here, but um, I want to take a look at the VIX. The VIX is down at uh, 30. Uh, it was recently at, I think, 35, and then it's, it's been dropping down since. 
So uh, as you may know, the VIX is the um, volatility volatility index, and that describes how it's kind of like the fear and greed index for crypto. Um, this is similar. So it's dropping to its 30. 30 is kind of like the um, the 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 uh, the air the target area where you know it, it's starting to creep uh, in the high area. It's kind of like the baseline for the high area. So it's uh, dropped back to the 30. A uh, 30 here is currently at 30.69, and that's down uh, from. Let me look here. It's gonna get close, and that's down negative 5.42%. Five point negative five point four two percent. We'll skip DXY because we'll cover that over here. Um, you can see Apple, Tesla, Netflix all down here. Um, U.S. oil uh, is, is coming down, and uh, this mixed news about oil is down currently at one hundred five. It was recently uh, high in the uh, you know in the one twenty one thirties. So that's good, good to see. Um, there were mixed news about Saudi Arabia pumping out more oil and that more oil and then they decided not to and there's um work in progress with Venezuela um you know trying to maybe undo some of the sanctions that, that the U, uh, the west placed on them mainly the US in exchange for pumping out more oil and so price is coming down and that's that's good that's good for the market uh gold is up um it's at 1,900 and uh, I got to get closer again. 1,995. Um, that's a 0.22% uh, increase day over day. Silver is also up and that's at 25.90. And uh, that's up uh, almost uh, half a point. So uh, that's pretty much tells me there's still some um, movement towards risk off uh, towards gold and silver i mainly look at gold though let's look at the the us uh, usd euro pair with usd that's down uh pound uh, versus usd and that's also down and you got the uh, usd pair with the yen and then that's up so and that means that um so the dollar is um, is strong against the yen, and if you if, when you look at pairs, it's like a fraction. So if euro is on top and you have USD at the bottom, and the whole fraction is going down, that means that the number on the bottom has to increase for the whole fraction to to, um, to go down. So the dollar is strong in, in all three of these pairings. And that's not a surprise because it's a global currency. So, um, so that gives us a, a little bit idea about what's happening with risk on, risk off in the market. But let's go over and look at the trends. Here you see Bitcoin yesterday um, topped out at roughly 40, uh, 42.4. Um, it pumped right here. Um, there were multiple... 30 minute or one hour candles here that pumped it all the way up and th th that might have had to do with um, a, a leaked if you will not not quite uh, an, an early post from um, Janet Yelling uh, on the website that gave it uh, a, um, a bullish indication of um, bit, um, President Biden's um, executive order uh, and it was very bullish for Bitcoin or crypto in general so price pumped up and it rounded off no surprise it dropped down but what's interesting here is it dropped down and put in a higher um, higher low and I've, me I've mentioned this in the past on my daily chart for Bitcoin it's putting higher lows every time it pumps up and comes back down so that's even though it comes down almost just as hard the fact that it's putting in higher lows is it's, it's somewhat bullish so that's 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 quite interesting to see. Let's take a look at the um, Nasdaq. Here we have Nasdaq. If you look at the seven-day trend, it's still on the low side. It's still below the seven-day uh, trend. Here is 
still trending down. But the good news is in the last couple of days, you see that it's trending up in the last two days. It's trending up. And so what about the positive correlation with Bitcoin? It's there. Um, you can see here uh, it went it went up, down. Bitcoin went up, down. And then it, it went up. Bitcoin went up. And then um, it went down. Bitcoin went down. It went down. And right now they're both going up slightly here. Similar uh, chart as the um, S&P 500. I won't go through that because it looks almost identical. So positive correlation with Bitcoin is holding here as well. Uh, for the Dow, uh, we have a, a two-day trend up. It uh, also turned it down and went back up. Similar um, to the other two indexes here. For the uh, Dixie, uh, Dixie, you can see here, uh, negative correlation with Bitcoin is holding um, mostly. Bitcoin went up, Dixie went down, Dixie went slightly up here, right there, and Bitcoin went down. And then now, this is the interesting part, Dixie is going up while Bitcoin is going up. So negative correlation is not currently holding here since market, um, since market opening here. So... I would keep an eye on that. For the U.S. 10-year Treasury yield, we uh, it's been going up in the past more than three days. And so um, the current rate is 1.99. The yield rate is 1.99. And what that's, that means, when you see a rising yield, that means price is going down. The yield moves opposite of the price. So yield goes up, price goes down. That it, that it can indicate that there's less demand for uh, for the U.S. 10-year Treasury, so it could it could signal a less of a risk-off environment, which makes sense because people went back into um, stocks and uh, more risk on assets here. Let's pop over to uh, the European uh, market and see what's up. Overall, you can see that the, the patterns for the um, UK 100, the DAX from Germany, and the CAC from France, and also the Stokes STOWX 600, they follow similar patterns. So I won't go through them individually. But you can see they trend it up and then they trend it down in the last um, previous trading session here. Um, and so, so, but overall, it's still slightly down from uh, on the seven day trend but it is moving up. It's down from its seven day high, but recovering in the past uh, three plus days. Let's go over to uh, the Asian markets uh, and Australia. Australia, uh, similarly, in the past few sessions, it's been going up, but and it's almost near its seven day high here. Seven day high is right here. So it's almost back to a seven day high. So good recovery in uh for the uh, Australian STW index here. Uh, Nikkei 225, um, it ended, it reversed its downward trend here and it's trending up currently in the last session. Uh, same thing with the uh, KOSPI from South Korea, uh, it ended up uh, reverting back. And the Hang Seng, similarly, and uh, the uh, CSI 300 from uh, the Shanghai Shenzhen um, index recovery. So, what is this? When I look at this, what do I what do I see? I see a slight market recovery. I see uh, globally, and I mentioned in the past that I the market may be acclimating to the current situation with uh, U.S. invasion of. Ukraine and the sanctions and so I think that's sinking in and the market is adjusting and it's acclimating and there is slight sign of recovery here which is really good and so you can see that um, in Bitcoin as well and the risk off environment uh, is still there um, you can because of you can see price of gold and silver uh, is up um, you know, with oil dropping, that's helping put more confidence in the economy. Uh, so still risk on, risk off. It just, it sways, but um, it's less risk off now than it was 
but we'll see what happens in the near future. I would monitor the uh, uh, DXY, uh, negative correlation not holding with, uh, with um, Bitcoin and also uh, moving, uh, uh, not holding with uh, the uh, S&P and uh, 500 and the NASDAQ. I appreciate your time. Feel free to uh, ring my bell, hit subscribe, click the like, and uh, leave your thoughts in the comments. I'll see you in the next video later today. My voice seems better. Peace.